I don't know. The, the summer rolls around. Every now and then I've been without electricity, been without uh, air conditioning. Yeah. It's dreadful. I just, yeah. I'm just existing. I hate it. It was my biggest fear about prison besides was that was they the wouldn't air. have good air conditioning. <laughs> Because I went, because I went in in like late August or something oh, in Alabama. No. It was a hundred and two oh. one day. Yeah. It was so oh. hot. I was like, "How was the AC? The air conditioning, the better than my house." And it's oh, 68. that's <laughs> great. It's sixty eight in this room right now. There's a vent above me blowing cold air on me right now. My nipples are hard. It was better in prison. It was better in prison. They had the biggest fucking air conditioning units you've ever seen on the roof, and and they uh they had like exposed. Um, conduit or whatever uh, with the you know the HVAC running pipes. through the center yeah. yeah the HVAC like huge ones just wow. exposed running through the unit and you could see that they were just like yeah we're all getting a steady st-. it was cold at night it was shivery at night you'd shiver at night you had to cover up two blankets um, you'd give the guy two dollars so he'd hook you up with a second blanket because <laughs> it was so cold at night it went out one day I woke up and I was sweaty and I was like oh no I go out Get out, get on the track, do a couple hours on the track. I come back. They're on the roof working on that bitch. They got not the prison staff. They've called a professional. Like he's mm-hmm. gone up there. He's he's hooked on to the roof like a, a, a thing so he doesn't fall off. And they're actively fixing it. Had it going by lunch. It was amazing. I was so I wonder happy. if there's a lot of security for which HVAC guy works on it. Hmm. Oh, like, so you don't get my cousin Lenny, the HVAC guy, to come in and uh, right. Yeah, you might have a friend in there, just like leave his screwdriver. I don't know. He's got if me you... and my boys inside the old unit, packing it up, taking it out of the prison. <laughs> if I just throw a Leatherman into the yard, do I get create chaos in this prison? A phone? If you really wanted to do that uh, at Talladega, uh, you could fly a drone over. They were always on the lookout for that. But moreover, you could just toss something over the fence. You could just go anything that you could toss. You could toss over Wouldn't the they fence see me? to us. No, nah, they're not out there watching. They're just not out on the perimeter. Um, like the the track go, would go out to the edge of the perimeter, but none of the guards were anywhere near you. Somebody, you could they could have beaten me to death on the track, and no one would have known it. Huh? <clears throat> until count that night, I could have been dead all day. You could be dead all day, and nobody would know um, because wow. there's count in the morning and count at night. So they could kill you in the morning and stuff you in the little bath. They have like a like a halfway bathroom on the far end of the track. It's really just like a piss pot. They could just stuff my body in there. Nobody know, you know. Um, but C- could you throw thing, like a pizza could... over the fence? Would they notice yeah. that? I mean, uh-huh. you show up with pizza, they probably don't notice. But <laughs> they probably they'd sneak liquor bottles in. Like when you'd buy liquor in the black market in there, it was like, why do you just have Crown Royal? They just have a bottle of Crown. You know, they didn't have. I didn't see any toilet wine because they had real liquor that they were selling for like multiple dollars a shot. But it's not dollars; it's max. It's packs of mackerel. God, I'm glad I'm not. So, like I said, no more acid. <laughs> no more illegal yeah. because I don't want to go to prison. God, but if I can sucks. find a legal way to do acid in another country or something like that, I'd do that. But, you know, you don't want to get any trouble. Can you go to Oregon? Don't they allow sure. everything now? Isn't oh, it yeah. everything? I think so. Or at least decriminalized. So they, maybe they'll be like, hey, a uh, $200 fine for your three hits of acid or something. Honestly, what I would do is I'd go to a friend's house. Cause I know friends on like the West coast who just do that occasionally and just go to their house and do it with them. It's probably the safe way to do it. But I heard uh, an interview with Shaq today. They were like, you don't drink, huh? He's like, yeah, I love to drink. I just don't drink in public. I don't drink around people so they can see me. My daddy told me young, you gonna have to take care of your family. If you fuck up your mama, don't eat. If you fuck up, your mama don't have a house. Don't you fuck up the money, Shaquille. He said, so I don't drink out in front of people. And it was like, damn. <laughs> That's, he went to a whole other dark place about why he doesn't drink in public. It was like, dude, I was just making Mom doesn't have enough money now to have a couple shots while you're out? Jesus. That's what he said. He's yeah, like, I ain't fucking done with very well. He said, I ain't <laughs> fucking a with video mama's game. empire. He said, I ain't fucking with mama's empire. <laughs> <laughs> and it is an well, empire. Good, good for him. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of those guys have become billionaires. Yeah. Uh, well, there was a lot of shady stuff going on where every now and then it seemed like somebody was going to go to jail because they'd stepped a little bit, they towed a little bit too far over that line. And uh, you didn't want to get like wrapped up into something like that for just chump change or what comparatively would be chump change compared to, you know, maybe going to jail or something. Yeah. I wouldn't want to. I don't know. I a lot of good it. stories come from it. I- I used to think I'd do terribly in prison. Now I think I got a couple weeks. Fine, maybe two. Yeah, months they, I, I've told you there were guys like you in there. 
They, you know, they, they, <laughs> there were all kinds you of, there were all kinds hold of dudes. someone else's yeah. pocket as you follow them around. No, nah, you, <laughs> you go over there with the other white guy. Like waving. Like, you know, I made a friend. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding his hand. <laughs> he leads we me are. around by my scrotum out of affection. <laughs> <laughs> we're really tight. We're really tight. I, I don't like some of the stuff he wants me to do, but I, I'm going to do it, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> like, I know, I know. Does anyone have a preparation age? Just asking for a friend. Well, I don't want to lose my friend. Like <laughs> some, Sometimes white guys play a lot of board games. Want. Oh, white what guys board games? seem to... Monopoly. They played a lot of Monopoly, yeah. and um, oh, it's a game terrible is designed board to start game. fights. Yeah. I could I not mean, play Monopoly in prison and stay out of. I feel like they don't have Monopoly like Settlers and, of Catan. Uh, fuck no, they had chess. <laughs> Give me that and sheep Monopoly. for this ore. I'm going to stab you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the, the black guys play poker, but I was so afraid of winning or losing to them that I didn't want to play. It's like all? war games, right? The no. only winning move is not to play. They also played like I bet Taylor hasn't style, seen that. which means that dealer gets to decide what game we're playing. And and so, one black guy would be like, crazy apes. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what are we doing now? All right, deuces is wild. And I, I can't play with you guys. Like, they're just making this shit up as they go along. Like, like, up. Every number oh, with a vowel is wild. Game. <laughs> yeah, I, I just Crazy making games hates. up as they went along, and and they're playing, they're gambling for you know currency, so you could end up owing somebody. And the quickest way to get hurt is to owe somebody and not pay them back. I would imagine. I don't want gambling in prison. At least that's what I've seen from the internet. I've been, I tried to watch uh, sixty days in this season, but it was it's so bitch made that it's not even. They're trumping up drama because in reality, the scariest guy in there is like a 19 year old kid who sees cameras and thinks he's going to make an ass of himself. So they see him. So he's, he yells a lot. And then he's like, are they looking? He's just being loud and rambunctious, but they like mm -hmm. play that music like dun, 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 dun. And then they click over to him with black and white. Now, for some reason, he's like, fuck this shit. He like throws his cards on the table. In reality, they all laughed after that, <laughs> but they don't show that part. They just show our guy who's like the plant. And he's like, fucking scared cowering out they're all such bitches they're all so fucking scared of just rambunctious teenagers who are playing poker and the there's nothing scary about that show anymore they used to take people's lunch money in that show like it was high school that's why i watched because you might see some poor white guy who thought he could make 35 grand easy get his lunch money taken remember that one guy yeah. where the prison had a, before he went in he cried and before quit. during and after he went in the sewer yeah. system went out and shit starts filling the pod so they just make all the prisoners go just sit in a room Indian style with each other at one point, and a day goes by. They've been sitting Indian style in a big room, and it's like, I didn't think this is what it was going to be like. And like, no one did, dude. That's why you're in this shitty prison, because it's a shitty prison. Because not yeah. a good prison would never allow a TV crew to come in and make a goddamn mockery of what they do. <laughs> <laughs> it's only the poorest, least responsible police, uh, police institutions who are like, our system is broken. The only way to fix this is that TV show from A and E. We need A and E to come always and straighten us out. Yeah, but it's but lately it just doesn't even seem that rough. And it seems like what I did was rougher, and what I did wasn't that rough. It was more like scary summer camp. Yeah, you did sixty but days in, so like you, did. you know. I did you did. do exactly sixty days? By the way, fifty-eight. I think. I think. Or no. Uh, you wouldn't have I got the money. Did you want two more just to like hit the number? Uh, I was like, so excited when I counted like and saw that it was 58 because they just said the judge went two months and it's like, could you be more specific, Your Honor? He's like, yeah, let's make it 60. How about that? How about 62? <laughs> you yeah. know, you, you don't want to you don't be asking at that juncture because maybe we round down later. I don't know how it works. He said two months. And I was like, all right. It wasn't until I was there. And I look, I have my release papers. They give them to you like 10 days in when I'm like, one, two, three, 58. All right. That's not so, that's a little better than I was counting on. All right. We're two at, we're, for 10 right? we already did those I thought two. I did now 10 days, but I've kind of done 12 in a way. Yeah, we're counting it as 12. Yeah. And 12, I, I, that's I, as I good swear, as two weeks. That's, you know, I got my count. <laughs> that's went, half a month. <laughs> like, like, give me two more X's. Let's go. It was count. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, that was a, that was a helpful day. Uh, it was a happy day. I remember when that happened, feeling chipper all day. <laughs> You're eating your, your custom chili with a smile mm. on your face. That on television, chili. it seems like people don't know when they're getting out a lot. Like they're like it's some not defined day. Like they don't know how many days they have left. They just know it's not long from now. I mean, yeah, some I of the 60 I, days in people, like 
they will clearly have no, I'm not, I'm talking about the actual prisoners in there. They will have clearly like no knowledge about anything other than the jail system and crime itself. And so these people who are competent in their real life as like a teacher or whatever come in and they think they can bamboozle these prisoners with like, CSI Miami level nonsense where they're and the, and the directors of the show, the producers are fucking shitheads. And so they'll be like, go in there and tell them that you're here on financial racketeering. And like, he'll go and like say that to some prisoner and he'll be like, financial racketeering. You're here for that. No, no one. <laughs> here is here. No one here's here for that for financial crimes. You'd be up in uh, Fort Sumner. That's where yep. the financial crimes division is. What are you talking about? It, it must have been more than just financial crimes for you to be here because this is a prerequisite for here is something fit or intent or fit like, and they'll, they <laughs> know what they're talking about in that way. And so then the yeah. teacher will be like, I don't know. I just, uh, I go where they tell me, you know, and then they like, they're just getting mean mugged like this yeah. liar. You didn't find it. You didn't embezzle shit. This isn't where they spend send embezzlers. Or it'll be a DUI sometimes. I'm like, where? You know, up in uh, oh, LJ, like the county and they'll be and like, shit. "Wait, you got arrested in LJ? Well, I went to the LJ police station. So you had to get arrested there. Well, no, and all of a sudden, it just doesn't start adding up because these are criminals. Mm -hmm. They know, you know, mm -hmm. where you should have gone and what prison you should have been in, and it's scary. And what they think they is know you're that a cop. shit very well. They think you're a cop, or or they think you're a rat, which you are. Everybody on that show is a fucking rat." That's another thing mm -hmm. I, I got annoyed with right away. I was like, I hope they do find you, you punk ass rat, you bitch. I, it's not like you're like, mm. yeah, there's a gang and Mikey has a knife. He's going to stab Jim. It's like they're getting high when nobody's looking. One guy, he cheeked his pill and sold it to someone for chili. <gasps> yeah. Like, dude, sure. you've got him locked in a room 24 hours a day. Let him get fucking stoned. Leave this guy's alone. smoking, smoking raid off of a toilet no paper violence. tube. And yeah, like they get no him in violence. trouble for that. It's just awful. So fuck that show, too. It's hard to find good reality shows. Yeah, most of them do are really you, fucking stupid. How do you think I should act if I go to jail for making fun of Eric July's comic? Is there anything? Kind of, is that yeah. going to be respected inside? Can you do like, <laughs> well, I think they will. Because he's be black. Like, is that going to hurt well, me? Well, first thing you got to decide is what, what race are you going to are you gonna stick with? You got to make a decision. Indian. Early. Oh, <laughs> I love it. I love Let it. Tell you, Work on the group. accent now. So the, Work, so the come Indian again, guys, hello. Welcome to the <laughs> Indian guys are like the others. Like like the hello, Indian guys are with all the Asians are together and they'll usually like hook up with the Native Americans too and anything like other. Like all yeah. the extras. You know, oh. you have like the LGBTQ plus. All the pluses get added to the Indians and the Asians, and they for, they form their own little posse. Ragtag group of misfit toys. Indians yeah. Yeah. and uh t's and q's Motley crew. i mean you could, like just, you could wait you could get there and then do a little racial head count and you could be like you know i'm going mexican here there's more oh, Mexicans yeah. than there are white guys and yeah you, right into yeah, spanish it's obviously you speak fluent spanish and, see see that's <laughs> perfect <laughs> call him he's Nailed it. spoken yeah he's because <laughs> he's hard then the, mus either the mustache goes and then the the hair goes and i could be a skinhead i guess you could, yeah. There's I'd have to stay inside. Business. You got to play the numbers. No, they Whoever's want you to more. put in work, as they say. They need you to to put in oh. some work. They need you to either to to smuggle something or to hurt somebody. Usually, you know? well, I could make fun of someone's comic inside the joint Dude, if they. Oh, got that'd be so funny. <laughs> like, fun I'll hurt his feelings so fucking bad. You don't even know. Yeah. You don't even know. <laughs> I've been stuck. I've been watching this guy. Don't worry, Big Mike. I'm gonna rip him a new one. I got some. Yo, this guy did. Yeah. I gave him my my letter home to edit. And he bullied the shit out of me. Uh, I don't even know what a dependent clause is. I, guess, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> you get in trouble for adding punctuation to his, his love letter. Murdered. Oh, I that would be... Who, who was it that did that? There was someone who did that. Maybe it was a movie I watched, but, but some guy was inside and he like was like rewriting their love letters for them and killing. Like, oh, that's what shit. he did. That sounds familiar. That, you yeah. Do that. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, Dick could. Somebody, Oh, that could be a career, you think? Yeah, I mean... They call me the, your, the English school? teacher in, in yeah. the joint. Bring we call him letters. the professor. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, you that's you talk about her tits right here? You should talk about her eyes. <laughs> like, her <laughs> eyes are big, and I want to suck them. I mean, yeah, that's better, honestly. <laughs> Go for that. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but sure. Yeah, <laughs> see how that works. Yeah. yeah, you see, I, I don't mean to judge. You're you're starting the whole letter with the word because. 
Um, you know, maybe <laughs> what happened first? What can we do before that? What can we build for I'm starting for to your, learn? Because you know, you've written basically in this letter fifty times, and you didn't need yeah. it one of those times. So <laughs> go ahead and remove that from. Oh, basically. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know, Basically, essentially, you're all I think about. <laughs> it was yeah, just that, a, way, that wouldn't get you enemies. Now, I wouldn't have any skills in prison either. They would hate impressions. Yep. The white people. Were- <laughs> <laughs> what no, if you figured would, out like the yeah, black <laughs> impression to do that black people loved, like some kind of fucking like <laughs> Pee Wee Herman and tequila, like got you down. <laughs> and one more impression and you're done. <laughs> I just have to have to I lean think, in all the way to African. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd kill. I think I, I think that you I'm know. I'm sick of they, this racist country. <laughs> I am from Cape Town. <laughs> they just make up an entire bag. And they're like, yeah, but you don't talk like a South African. <laughs> you don't oh. talk, you're talking like a made up cartoon app. 